Okay, come on, ladies. Let's bet it up. Get some money and be somebody. Thousand dollars on the black. Right on. All right, come on, let's go. Put it down, baby. There you go. Over here, and give me a thousand on the black. There you go. Hiya, sweetheart. Hey, Bert, how are you, baby? Good. Say, I had a call from Mr. White, said you hadn't signed your contract yet. What's the matter, you got a problem? No, not too big a problem. Just some money, that's all. Now, you know what amazes me? That a man that's a multi-billionaire living up in that fortress can't come to terms. Now, look, you're the man that I work for, really. Do me a favor, go up and talk to him for me, will you? You gotta be kidding. I run this place for him, and even I haven't seen him for three years, I... Will you take a look at that? Well... Wow. They ain't never gonna get a cake big enough to put him on top of. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What happened to the chips? You... I lost. Shady Tree. Shady, you just adore your aunt. What taste? Style. And we have a few suggestions. Phoenix and material I don't need. I haven't changed my act in 40 years. Ah, oh, but this one's surefire. That's the oldest guy. And then this one. We'll kill you. Come on, fellas. A popping gun and squirting fly routine. You gotta be kidding. To his company, Mr. Wynn. And Tree was a crowd, Mr. Kidd. You could really do that. I bet they charge you for it. I was under the impression you were paying. Well, it was still a very classy thing to do. Hey, listen, you are not a knight or anything like that, are you? No, I'm afraid not. I'm your commoner. But don't feel bad. It doesn't make any difference to me. I'm a Democrat. Hi, Myrna. Hi, friend. Hey, uh, Peter, you had enough of this? Aren't you enjoying yourself? Oh, well, sure, but I... What I mean is, well, you've been so great and everything, I just wanted to thank you properly, you know. Well, maybe I could walk you to your door at least? It's just... Presumably, I'm the condemned man, and uh, obviously, you're the heart of breakfast, right? Now. 
I'm Michael Wilson, producer of the James Bond films. This is a longer version of the scene which appeared in the original Diamonds Are Forever film. While not much content was lost, the scene does illustrate the mercenary nature of the Tiffany Case character. To create this version, we've used none of the footage that appeared in the finished film. Darling, hmm? why are we suddenly staying in the bridal suite of the White House? In order to form a more perfect union, darling. By the way, James, may I call you James finally? Any particular reason why? You've held out on the organization broken into a government plant, flown a car through an alley sideways, and I haven't even tried to skip town. Peter Franks would be throwing up in the bathtub by now. Well, I have been feeling rather queasy lately. I don't believe you. By the way, James, what's going to happen to me? You did talk to your friend Felix about me, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Well, what did he say? Something about uh, 20 years to life. It wasn't very important. 20 years to life? Relax, darling. I'm on top of the situation. That's easy for you to... That's easy for you to say. Oh, you're not the one that has... Oh, James, how many hands do you have? Wait a minute. I must be crazy. This isn't like me at all. I helped to wipe out half the police force of Las Vegas, make enemies of my own people, Willard White, the U.S. government, and now I end up giving away something for nothing. Well, if it's a matter of simple charity. I may as well begin at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.